Okay, fifth grader, so this is how you're going to create your monster. Supplies you need, piece of paper, a pencil, and some felt. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half. You can fold it in half, either hamburger or hot dog, meaning lengthwise or the short way. When you open it up, you want to have the folded side. That's where you're gonna start your drawing. So you have to start your pencil line on the folded line folded side and then you're going to just make whatever organic kind of shapes that you'd like to create. Now your first option is not always your best. You might want to change it or edit it. Okay, so that's an example with the, <clears throat> the longer piece and here's an example the other way. So you're going to fold your paper in half. This is half hamburger. Open the paper and once again on the folded side you're going to draw your shape. So pick your shape, draw any sort of shape that you want. And now it's drawn on the one side, you're gonna grab your scissors and you're just going to simply cut on that line. So to the best of your ability, you're gonna cut on that line. So let's say you cut it out and you're not happy with the design. If you're not happy with it after you cut it out, simply try again. If you wanna make it a little bit larger. Now, if it is too small, it's gonna be very, very tricky to sew and very, very difficult to stuff. So if it is too small, you can put your drawing on top of your new piece of paper and kind of draw around it like you're a race car driving around something and that'll help you make it a little bit bigger. So once your drawing is carefully cut, you can open up your drawing and you will have made your symmetrical organic monster. Now that you have your monster created, you're going to take two pieces of felt and trace them onto the felt one sheet at a time. You can elect to have a different color on the front and the back or you can have the same color on the front and the back. That's your choice. So I'm gonna grab a color of felt here. I'm gonna take a yellow and I'm simply going to put the monster on top of the yellow. And as you can see, I have to put it the other way because I used my paper hamburger. So if your paper was hamburger, then your, then your paper for your felt, excuse me, your felt has to be landscape. And you're gonna trace around with a pencil, lightly tracing it around with a pencil, and then you'll cut it out on your pencil line. If your pencil line's a little unclear, you can trace in pencil and then go over that in Sharpie. For the eyes, you're gonna use a circle tracer. Now, when you use the circle chaser, figure out what size would work best on your monster. Once you do that, you're gonna select your size and you're never gonna cut from the center. You're always gonna use the corner of the, of the felt so that we don't waste a lot of fabric. Any extra fabric, we're gonna put in an extra fabric bin because that'll be so helpful for people to use when we do um, like little teeth and other little things that you wanna add to your monster, other things to add on. And there you have it, fifth grade. That's how to create your organic shape monster.